Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 24! Oh, are you offering the camera sweet? They make hissing noise every now and again. I really, really don't like them. Just come to Canterbury and look what I found. Morning go to planet Earth. <laughs> so, as you can see, this camera is bouncing around like an absolute loon. Um, oh, we are out on a walk. Um, right, so the reason why I'm getting mad. I'm pretty sure he's gonna run down this hill anytime soon is that my microphone that connects to my hearing aids is on Sam right now so everything he says I can currently hear him isn't that right bro um so it is Christmas Eve officially one of the happiest days of the year currently sweating my absolute body off in this thermal layering of everything I've got on right now um, they are so slow. <laughs> I can hear you. It's funny. It's it's quite funny actually. Like no one knows what you're saying, but I'm just here laughing. Oh, we turned it off. That's quite depressing now. Oh no. I don't know whether we saw that or not, but yeah. <laughs> but I'm quite excited. It's Christmas tomorrow. My dad's off work. And this is so annoying. <sighs> so my dad's off work tomorrow. He's currently at work for a night shift. <sighs> Sam, please. <laughs> oh my God, this is so frustrating. It's going to take an hour with you talking in my ear. I've lost connection, that's good. Um, so we are currently on a walk, Christmassy Eve walk. Um, I'm excited for Christmas. It's one of the happier days of my year, technically. Um, I get some presents, I get to eat loads of garbage and junk, and then I get to sleep. What? What did he just say? I have a feeling this is going to be very annoying because of the wind and because my annoying brother over there is now taking the absolute what? Oh, you want me to do something over there? Oh, it's windy! Ah. The wind's hitting my mic, let alone yours. Oh, f I'm going to climb up here. <laughs> this is fun. This is a vlogger's journey. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Climb up that hill. Climb up that hill. Go on, climb up it. Yay! Go on, Sam. <laughs> it goes pretty high. Bye Molly, it's been fun knowing you. So, we have been at home for a good couple of hours now. Um, I redid my lipstick because it was a little bit too bright for my comfort. Um, and we have just ordered pizza, which I'm very excited about because I asked for a takeaway on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Not knowing that everyone else is going to do the same thing, but who knew that Domino's did this? They do order, prep, baking, quality check, and then out for delivery. I really like that system, it's pretty cool, because then you can see where the hell your pizza has gone. <laughs> if they're taking too long. <laughs> We're also trying to find a midnight mass near us, but we have no luck so far, because... It's a Sunday. 
you're not going to find many places with a midnight mass on a Sunday, are you? Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be able to go to one. I've never been to one personally myself. It seems a bit weird coming from my point of view because I used to go to Scouts. Well, Cubs and Beavers. It was like a sort of younger version of Scouts. Um, and I used to go to church there every Sunday. But then again, I used to go to Chris Dingle. <laughs> And never went to midnight mass so i kind of regret doing that but i would like to find a service to go to but it's going a bit late now so hopefully we might be able to find a midnight mass if not it doesn't really matter I can always just sit indoors eat pizza watch christmas films go to sleep fine by me i'm not sure if you can see them but all three of my tortoises have gone to sleep oh no franklin's awake Franklin, you got to go to sleep for Santa to come and visit you. Yeah, you got to go to sleep. Like your brothers have done. Our table looks so festive. If you're wondering what these are, they're actually little like Santa hats placed on the backs of the chairs. And then you've just got this so lovely table cover. <laughs> I'm trying to find my words for it. The reason why one chair does not have a hat is because we've completely lost it. So my mum has gone upstairs to go and find it. If there's no hat, it really doesn't matter. We can just strip the chairs bare and just leave the tablecloth on. Simple solution. Oh my God, my Domino's is on its way. Yes, oh my God. I'm quite hungry for Domino's right now. We ordered a lot. We ordered quite a big meal, so we are going to be full. But on a good note as well, we have found a Chris Dingle service that is literally just down the road from us. So hip hip hooray. Um, it's actually on at 11 to 12, so very late for me. Um, I don't really mind. The longest I've stayed up till is uh, 1 a.m., which is no surprise there. Franklin. You have to go to sleep. Yes, you have to go to sleep. He's too excited. He's very excited for this. It's actually his second Christmas with us, I believe. Or is it his third? Because we got him in November like two years ago. I don't know what counts as second and third. I don't really know. We've had ECO for as long as I can remember, so. Mine's gone kerfuddled, blank. Absolutely blank. Not too phantom I don't know. Oh, you excited for pizza and Star Wars? <laughs> you looked a bit shocked by me saying that. Nope. She's Got me out for years on now. I've gone for Christmas. So we are watching Gogglebox currently, trying to pass time, and I did do my nails. I really like them. I like her sort of pinky red colour. i got to be honest with you, I love Gogglebox, purely because it's just humour and just everything I need to calm myself down. What I didn't realise was the TV show that they were watching was called Naked Attraction, which I'd actually heard of, but never seen can't explain why I would never want to see it really judging by what other people have said I knew what it was kind of about and then me and mum just saw it for like the minute how would you rate naked attraction mum something I would never want to see again <laughs> it was so bad I don't know how you could do that like you have to choose a date purely based on what they look like I'd rather just do blind dating myself. It was so weird. I've never seen anything like it. I'm not up and hippie with all that stuff and I'm not entirely sure I want to be. But I mean, why? Why is this even a thing? I mean... <laughs> we're just sitting here. <laughs> yes, basically. Oh man, that was the weirdest like three minutes of my life. <laughs> I'm never getting that three minutes back and I'm never gonna get those pictures. Times are tough this year. No one should have to spoke
I know it's human nature, but seriously, we don't have to see it like that. <laughs> Not on TV. It just makes it even more awkward. <laughs> we already have two shows for that. And that's Love Island, and then there's something else, which I can't remember its name. <laughs> oh, it is so depressing and humiliating. <laughs> like, who would even choose to go on that show? <laughs> I'm not being funny, but I would be horrified if someone like nominated me to go on something like that. You have to be pretty desperate for a date, I think. I feel sorry for those poor people. Wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> what are we saying about Midnight Mass, Sam? Zero. <laughs> That's three, zero. <laughs> zero out of ten from us. Um, it was very odd. I've never been to a church service like that in my entire life before. Hands up, I feel like the old ones were better. <clears throat> I feel a bit disappointed because we were all looking kind of forward to it. Um, plus, science got the better of me and Sam, so I think we're not going to church anytime soon. Mum might, but we're not. We ended up laughing all the way through. That's very good. <laughs> one of the lines in the hymns, I don't know if anyone's heard this before, but one of the lines in the hymn was, that's very God. I don't know whether they've turned a meme into a, into a hymn, but it sounded very much like one. And there was this whole part about depression, and it's like she wouldn't, or the priest wouldn't say like, it's part of depression, it's part of everyone's life. No, they just call people who have depression like some random word that was made up. It's like, I'm being cured for depression right now. That's making me feel worse. Oh. Mom, how would you write Midnight Mass? I'm not walking that. <laughs> wow. Well, I was half tempted of like vlogging it, but you know, uh, God forbid it. Cheers to beliefs and cheers to being handshaken by six people who you didn't really ask for a handshake from. I like people but I don't like being this social. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you go to church and you're a church goer and you like shaking people's hands but I, I don't really like shaking people's hands, I don't know. If I know them, I'm fine but if I don't, uh, you're not on my, my to-do list very anytime soon. How much vitamins have you got in that cup? <laughs> I thought you were about to say my aunt has a donkey and I actually oh oh that's a real donkey not like our one that was in the stable and that was fake oh that's cute at least it would have been more enjoyable than our service <laughs> Well, I think we can all say for ourselves that church is not something we're going to be seeing or doing any time next year. Probably just Chris Dingle, but nothing else. Wow. Little elves are out doing the reindeer food. Why did that just come indoors? Oh no, gravity. Oh, make it sure it goes everywhere, right? Reindeers come in all shapes and sizes. Holly <laughs> <laughs> made this with the elves. <laughs> right, right, boy. <laughs>